guys welcome back to my channel so today you might hear a few bangs and pops because it is fireworks night that I'm filming this video on um so yeah just brace yourself for some loud noises um yes so today we are going to be doing a full face makeup using wet and wild products now the full face of makeup actually cost me £34.5p. That is without lipstick though and without lashes. So it's not too bad though for a full face, is it? Um let's get going. So there is someone next door doing fireworks. Um yeah, we'll just start anyway and ignore the fireworks. So I'm going to start off with the primer and the primer that I got was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. Um, this is a matte primer and this was £4.75 so it's brand new. So I'm going to apply that. Okay guys, so now that it's on, it does dry matte and it dries matte really quick as well actually. Um, my face is still shiny though, I've got oily skin, I can't help it. Next we're moving on to our foundation and the foundation that we are using is this, which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is a dewy foundation um, in the shade Ivory. Now this was £3.50. It's less than the primer. I don't understand. I also have this foundation that I, that I haven't used. It's still closed. Um, which is the Wet n Wild Foco, Foco? Photo Focus Found Did Taint and Baton, which is the stick foundation in the shade Ivory as well. But you know, I don't get on with my foundation stick. I'm going to go with my liquid foundation and this is a dewy foundation. Oh, you twist it. I was pulling it. Okay. So I'm going to blend this in with my beauty blender. So I'm guessing this is a very light coverage foundation. I like the shade, I really like the shade, but it is extremely light. Buildable coverage. I don't know, it's a little bit too runny for me as well. I don't I like quite um I like a thick foundation but not too thick. So next guys we are moving on to our highlighter and this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer 
in the shade Fair Beige, which I'm sure is darker than my foundation. But there we are, this is what we have to work with. This was £3.95. So this again was more than the foundation, which is crazy. So I'm just going to apply this to under my eyes. I'll do it one eye at a time. Okay guys, that's our concealer applied. Next we're going to be moving on to our bronzer, which is the Wet and Wild Colour Icon Bronzer in the shade Palm Ready Beach. Now this was £2.75. I'll apply it with my usual um, bronzer brush. Just get some tissue to clean it up a little bit. Okay, I do like that the fact that it's got a nice little shine to it. I do like that. And comes with I think two pounds seventy five. That's really good. So let's see how it goes on. So you really have to apply quite a bit for it to show. Now applying it to the other cheek. I'll also be applying it to the top of my forehead up here and a little bit on the sides, either side of my nose bottom of my nose and under here to try and hide my double chin. Okay guys, bronzer applied. I'm now going to move on to my blusher. So the blusher that we're using is the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Blush in the shade Mellow Wine. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Okay, next we're moving on to our highlighter, and the highlighter that I'm going to use is this, which is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow. I'm going to be applying my highlighter to here centre of my forehead, down my nose and on my chin and a little bit on my cupid's arrow.
<clears throat> okay guys, now that I've done that, I'm going to brush my brows and shape them ready for the next set. The highlighter, by the way, was £3. No. The highlighter was £4.95 and the blusher was £3.95. So, next we're moving on to our eyebrows and I'm using... I'll see which colour. I bought two different shades because I was unsure of what colour to get. I think I'm going to go with a darker one. Um, it's the Wet and Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil and this is in the shade um, Ash Brown. So you have a brush on one end <coughs> and this on the other end. So let me tilt you down a bit and I'll apply this. Okay guys, that is my eyebrows done. That's all I'm doing to my eyebrows now, I'm gonna stop. The eyebrow pen was only £1.95, so, hmm. Okay, I haven't got an eye primer, so I'm gonna use my concealer for that. So I'm gonna be applying some concealer onto my eyelids now to act as a primer for my eyeshadow. Okay guys, eyelids done. Next I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow and the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using is this. It's the Wet and Wild Colour Icon eyeshadow in the um, shade Nude Comer. So I'm just going to apply this onto my eyes if I can open it. And this was about £1.95. It is a single eyeshadow. It's a cream as well, I've just realised. I'm actually going to apply some of the bronzer into my crease. So.
Okay guys, I'm now gonna apply some of the highlighter then on top of this. Actually, I might, I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the bronzer because I am putting eyelashes on so I'll Okay guys, I'm now going to apply the highlighter above this. You can overlap them slightly as well, we're going to be blending. Okay guys, we are now going to blend them in. So... Okay, now I'm going to apply some concealer just underneath the brow line so it defines the brows a little bit more and makes the eyeshadow stand up slightly more. <clears throat> okay guys, I think it's time to apply some lashes and the lashes that I'm going to be applying are brand new, they came today. They are eyelashes from AT Cosmetics and this is the package they come in very pretty packaging I love the marble so nice um I can't remember what style I ordered these in it doesn't actually say on the box but it does actually say thank you and then from AT Cosmetics and it has got the website on the bottom there let's open them oh that's cool so they also give you a little brush which is cute it's got glitter in it I don't know if you guys can see it right okay so I'm gonna snip like literally that much off I hate snipping my lashes let me just check it again now sorry guys yeah perfect now I'm just gonna do the same to the other one which is stuck on there pretty good they're really really soft these lashes are they are really really soft really nice um how much did I take off about that much yeah Right, so 
So that one's for that side, that one's for that side. Let me grab my glue. These are not wet and wild eyelashes, obviously. Um, I just thought I'd put some eyelashes on because it kind of makes a look, doesn't it? So I'm using this eyesha eye eyeshadow glue, eye glue. And I do apply it onto my eye because I don't know, I just find it a lot easier to apply lashes that way. Can be very messy though, I will say that. Okay, so. Okay guys, so next, let me put the lid back on my glue. These eyelashes, that this one feels so light and lovely. And then I've got this one that feels like it's poking me in the eye. Anyway, let's move on guys. Um, <clears throat> so, eyebrow pencil, did I get any eyeliner? I don't think I did. Oh yes, I did. So the eyeliner that I'm going to be using is this. It's the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade black. And this cost £2.50. Okay, that eyeliner is just going to have to do and I will cover it. A bit under my eye. That's hard. That will do for now. So I'm now gonna apply some um, mascara, which is this. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara. Okay. So. I'm gonna apply some of that eyeliner underneath here because I have missed loads. I need to wish this stick was slightly longer. I'm just gonna just poke up at my eye a little bit. Just to fill it out so you don't see the huge gap.
so that one looks a lot better now compared to that one if you have a look at there then have a look under there so same here do not poke yourself in the eye like I did because it does burn a little bit so that looks a lot better doesn't it We need to get rid of this eyeliner that I have on my face though, because that is looking awful. Just grab me some concealer and oh, let me just wipe it first. And if it doesn't come off like that, then we can seal it. There you go. We didn't do our bottom lashes, did we? We didn't mascara them. So. Just gonna trim the ends a little bit. Just so it doesn't go onto my face. Okay, guys. I don't think I bought a, I didn't actually get a lipstick. So, I'm thinking we could probably use the eyeshadow as a lipstick. I'm thinking this could go on, if it's a cream anyway. I think it might be okay. So I'm gonna apply the eyeshadow that we use on my lips. I'll use the brush that I used for the concealer. So, let me dip you down. I'm going to use a different um, brand lip liner. I do apologise about the pop-in. It is Viola tonight. It's annoying. So annoying when you're trying to do videos. Um, okay, so... And this is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Anti Feathering Lip Liner. So let's let's do this. Just a little bit, just just slightly. And the eyeliner lip liner into my lips. It looks like it will go in quite well. Don't worry, guys, we're blending it. You get a nice, a decent brush. I do use that for concealer, but we'll use this. about the lips guys I think they look okay I'm gonna apply a little bit of more of the eyeshadow I think This is the look then guys. <sighs> Forgot one thing. Satin spray, which cost £2.50. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus 
Tiffany Natural Finish um, Setting Spray. I don't know what that's for. It's got like um, numbers and stuff on it. Okay, so it smells like hairspray. Probably is hairspray because I know that's what I used to use when I was younger to set my face. Don't do it, guys. It's bad for your skin. But I did used to do that. I need to find myself my brush because my mascara is going to run now. I didn't realise how wet that was. Done it. Yeah. So this mascara is meant to be. Oh no, it's not the waterproof one. Damn it, I should have put the waterproof one on. I have got both. <clears throat> so. I'm just going to fix that. I actually don't mind this look. What do you guys think? I mean, we've used bronzer from eye for eyeshadow. We've used eyeshadow for lipstick it's pretty DIY this look this look this look was wasn't it um yeah this is it guys I am in love with these lashes though they're so soft I absolutely love these and they're a good length as well they're not too over the top they're just right I really really like them like soft it's weird it just feels like silk on your eyes is stunning though yeah I'm so happy with this look considering the whole like face and makeup cost me 34 pound and 5p apart from the lashes and the lip liner um I think it's good I think we did all right so this is another makeup look for you guys using a full face of wet and wild products and also using these beautiful lashes which were from AT Cosmetics please check them out on Instagram guys they are amazing like they are stunning I think that these are six pound worth every penny and you can reuse them and everything as well which is perfect and I love the fact that it says thank you and it's a little it just makes it a little sentimental doesn't it it makes it it's a nice touch um and the marble gotta love that but yes I am so chuffed with this makeup look considering all the hassle we went through all the fireworks I had to sit through I think I kept it together pretty well guys I, I did not crack um so now I'm gonna have a little cry to myself <laughs> I'm joking guys I'm gonna go now and have something to eat I haven't eaten today so bacon and eggs for me and something to drink I'm thirsty I'm really really thirsty so yeah this is the look I shall see you guys tomorrow love you all Mwah. bye